Paris woke up to find that France was on the brink of civil war. Would the rebel generals in Algeria send paratroopers? Defence measures were quickly put into operation. All the airport was closed to flights in and out. Nobody in the capital knew the rebels' intentions, but plastic bomb outrages here and elsewhere showed that pro-rebel sympathisers were on the prowl. They struck at the Gare de Lyon railway terminus and at the Austerlitz station. Not with any serious effect, but it was calculated to unsettle the people. Despite all this, Parisians didn't really believe there would be an invasion, but they were uneasy. A short time ago, there had seemed a chance of peace in Algeria at last. Now, hope was shattered, not by the extreme nationalists, but by the army itself. Reservists were called up and volunteers enlisted. France was in a dangerous plight. De Gaulle, defied by a large section of the armed forces. How large, not even the government knew. The National Assembly had a warlike look, but soon it appeared that the rebels had missed the chance of a coup d'etat. The general opinion was that in this dangerous hour, the nation as a whole was behind De Gaulle.